five months old. Are you five months old, Cory? Yeah. Yeah. You're so big. Oh, really? You're telling everybody how big you are? You all day long, I just want to squish you. Squish you. I just want to squish you. Hey guys, welcome to the girls five month update video. I think I said this last time, but I can't believe they're five months old already because that means that they're basically half a year old and then they're almost a year old and that's not okay. So I never know how to like do these videos if I should do like Parker's update separate from Corey's update or if I should just do both of them together. I feel like they're both basically on the same page with their sleeping, their feeding, their sizes and like developmentally they're both basically within, within the same range from each other so I'll probably just go ahead and update you guys on both of the girls. All right. Sissy. Just Alright, now I'm situated. And I forgot what I was saying. The girls turned five months old um, a couple days ago. They haven't made a lot of changes since their four month update. Everything's kind of been pretty much the same. They're just growing and eating still and pooping a lot. <laughs> like everything that babies do. They are just about 13 pounds each. Yeah, you're getting chunky. You're getting chunky, aren't you? <laughs> I have no idea how long they are. Um, Parker is about an inch longer than Corey, so they are not the same height. Parker's a little bit taller, but they do weigh within half a pound each of each other, right around 13 pounds each. They're both wearing size two diapers. I think within like the next month, they'll probably go up in size, but for right now, they are content in their size twos. You like that ball? Um, so for food, they are both 100% on breast milk still. And they've kind of developed a bottle preference and haven't been wanting to nurse lately, which is kind of heartbreaking for me just because I never got to breastfeed Carson so I was really happy when the girls were able to latch and they were doing really well with their breastfeeding um, so it's kind of sad that they're not wanting to do that anymore but um, at least you know they're still getting my breast milk and because that's really important to me that that they're able to get that um, and this way Brent can feed them you know gram grandma and grandpas can feed them and whatnot um, so that's nice they are drinking about seven ounces every three to four hours throughout the day. I think they they drink so much during the day because they sleep at nighttime, so they're kind of making up for those calories that they're not getting at nighttime. Uh oh. So they're not on solids yet, and we probably won't start them until at least six months or until they're ready, probably about seven months, because since they were a month premature, they are technically only uh, four months adjusted. So when they're showing signs that they're ready for solids, we'll probably start that. But we are in no rush because my breast milk is doing just fine. They are growing and they it's providing them everything that they need for right now. Their sleep and nap schedule, they don't really have anything set um, in a schedule yet. I kind of just let them nap when they fall asleep and... Um, when they seem tired a lot of times they will like play on this play mat back here and they will just like fall asleep on the ground and um, I mean I don't wake them up or anything I just kind of let them take a nap usually they only nap for like 15 minutes anyway so it's not that big of a deal but if I know they've been up for a while and they will take a longer nap I will put them in their cribs we officially have them crib trained so they are no longer in our room they are in their cribs and they sleep all night long. They have been sleeping through the night since like three months old. Yeah. Do you like your crib, Cory? Yeah. Yeah. You do, huh? 
<laughs> Are you gonna stick your tongue out? You're so cute. Um, they fall asleep around like nine o'clock at night and usually wake up around seven or eight in the morning. And they will eat right away. They'll probably play for a little bit and then um, depending on the day, usually within like an hour or two, they'll go back to sleep and take a nap. Um, just looking at my cheat sheet over here. Their development, um, they have been working on sitting up now. Uh, both the girls love this. I have no idea what it's called. I just call it like a sit me up thing, but they both love this. Um, they both love sitting in our laps. Um, anytime they're upright, they just love to be using their muscles and um, work on sitting up. They love tummy time. They're both really good at like pushing their arms up and they're still working on rolling over. Um, but I'm not really concerned quite yet just because I know that they were premature and they technically are only four months um, adjusted. So I know it'll happen. I'm not in any rush. Parker has her two bottom teeth coming through. I can officially see them and she has definitely let us know that they're coming. She just loves chewing on anything that she can get her hands on. Same with Corey. She's always chewing on something. Are you okay? I dropped your rattle down here. This rattle has been a huge hit. It's from Ryan and Rose and it's silicone. So um, it feels really good on their gums and you can um, bend it and twist it. And it's also a rattle too. So um, it's a really awesome toy for them to start learning to grab on and everything. And it, like I said, it feels really good on their gums. Um, let me see. Their likes and dislikes, they both like tubby time. Um, they both love going to the chiropractor. We still go to the chiropractor once a week. Um, they just kind of make some adjustments in their um, necks up here and then in their tailbone just because they are a little bit out of alignment. Um, we initially started bringing Parker to the chiropractor because she preferred um, one side over the other and she was kind of getting a flat spot over here, but, but we have not been seeing that um, side preference anymore with her head, so that's good. Um, they both love their exerciser. We finally got that out since they're a little bit big enough now. They can kind of sit in that and kind of hold themselves up a little bit better. So they love to um, learn how to bounce on that and they love playing with their toys around that. So that's awesome. They do not like getting in their car seats. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's fine once like they're swaddled and they have their nooks and stuff and we like get out of the house, but putting them in the car seats, they do not like it. But what baby does, I think that's all for our five month update. What do you think, Corey? Oh, what do you think, Parker? You're just kind of chilling, aren't you? You're just kind of chilling. Yeah, are you gonna talk? All right, girls. So I had to swap babies because Corey got hungry. But that's basically all for our five month update. Um, we're excited for this next month. The girls will be six months old. I cannot believe it. Um, it's finally gonna be nice outside so we can get the girls outside. But for now, we have a chiropractic appointment soon. So we are going to hurry up and get ready for that. So. We will see you in our next video.